Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your CPU for gaming in 2024. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to watch it till the end and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, first things first is getting the latest CPU drivers. Yes. There are actually CPU drivers manufactured by your CPU company and there are two major types of CPU if you are using, one of which could be AMD or Intel. So what you have to do is simply open up your browser and say I have an AMD CPU so you need to search for AMD chipset drivers. The same you have to do if you have an Intel chipset driver and open up the official AMD driver and support page or the Intel support page and then simply click on download Windows drivers. This will automatically detect the Ryzen components or your Intel components and it will download the latest drivers available for your CPU. This is really really essential in well functioning of your CPU. Alright, next most important thing is in Windows settings. So for that you need to open up settings on your PC and once you open this thing up, you have to go down to find gaming and then go over to game bar and turn this thing off since gamer consumes a lot of memory and CPU usage in the background. Then you have to go back and open up game mode and enable this thing. Game mode is the best thing that you can do to your PC, some of which includes turning off background applications and giving you the best FPS possible. So I highly recommend you guys to turn on game mode. Okay, then you have to locate the apps section over here and then go down to find the startup apps and then disable all of the unnecessary startup apps that you do not really require whenever your PC boots. This will ensure that your CPU does not take a lot of load booting your PC up. It will reduce your booting time as well as improve your performance of the PC since most of these applications will only be turned on whenever you need them. Last thing is the Windows update and I recommend you guys to do this thing because it is really really essential. Keep your Windows up to date if you're running a Windows 11 since Windows keeps on bringing new updates to patch their bugs and issues. So simply just come over here, click on check for updates and your Windows will look out for any pending updates possible. If there are, I highly recommend you guys to do the Windows updates. Alright, next step is turning on storage sense and for that you need to open up settings and once again you have to search for storage sense and you have to go to turn on storage sense. This will analyze the disk consumption of your PC and you have to make sure to enable storage sense. Open this thing up, enable this option, turn on automatically clean up the content and then you have to copy these settings right over here and then at last simply click on run storage sense now and that will be running. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Okay, next step is MS Config and for that you need to press your windows and R key together and when run opens up, you have to simply type in MS Config and simply click on OK. Once the system configuration opens up, you're gonna have to go to the boot section, click on advanced option, click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. This will utilize all of your cores while booting up and it will keep all of them running intact whenever you're playing your games. This is really helpful in your system booting as well as gaming in the long run. Now next step is only available for Windows Pro users. So if you're running Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro, you guys can be able to do this. If you're using Windows Home or any other edition, make sure to skip this step. All right, now you have to search for local group policy editor and you have to click on edit group policy. Then you have to go into administrative templates and in here you have to go to windows components and right over here you'll find app privacy in which you'll find let apps run in the background. You have to double click and open this thing up. And once you are over here, you have to make sure to click enabled in this and then options default for all apps. You have to click on force deny. This will actually help you to turn off all of the applications running in the background 
and it will also save your CPU utilization, allowing you better FPS in your games. Now, next most important step is creating a restore point, and this is really, really essential. I highly recommend you guys not to miss this. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC, look your Select your local disk C, click on create and name it something that you can remember it from. I'll type in CPU system just in case to remember this thing and simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your system's integrity if you want to restore every setting back to default without any data loss. Last and most important step is the CPU optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This has all of the updated things that you require for optimizing your CPU. You have to simply open this thing up and in here you'll find four simple folders. First one is the CPU priority. You have to open this thing up and you'll find an Intel and AMD CPU priority. Now, if you're running an Intel CPU, you have to run the Intel CPU priority. Double click to run this. Or if you're running an AMD CPU like me, you have to run the AMD CPU priority. This will set up the best priority settings for your CPU to perform well whenever you're utilizing the settings. Next is the Windows important tweaks and in here you'll find a ton of registries. All of them serve a specific function. Now once again, if you didn't have local group policy editor, you can disable unnecessary services and background apps using these two registries without having to go into the local group policy editor. So simply double click to run them. This will disable maps since you do not really need it. Then transparency, page shutdown, improve system responsiveness and at last that is Windows 32 priority separation. All of them will help you to fix the utilization of your CPU, unnecessary utilization of your CPU and then if you are facing any issues you can always revert them back from this folder. Third one is quick CPU and this is a setup file. You have to simply install it and once this application opens up you have to click on the third option this one which is the maximum performance option for your CPU. It will apply the best profiles that is in built into this application to utilize the maximum performance of your CPU. Next thing that you have to do is go all the way down for core parking, frequency scaling and turbo boost. You have to put all of the to 100% and then simply click on apply. Then you have to go and click on the memory data and right over here you have to click on configure and enable all of these options and then for clean when CPU usage is above you have to set this thing to 60% simply click on apply and then click on clean. This will instantly reduce the memory usage on your PC and it will also give you the best performance whenever you are playing the game. I highly recommend you guys to keep this application running whenever you're playing the games. To Last one is the batch tweaks and in this you'll find the temporary files as well as useful tweaks. You have to simply right click and run this thing as an administrator and this thing will politely ask you to clean your temporary files. You can press any key to continue and this will start deleting all of the unwanted cache files from your PC that will give you the best performance. Lastly is the useful tweaks .bat, in which I have left a ton of commands that will help your PC in optimizing and setting up the best values for the hardware utilization and the best part is you do not have to do all of these commands manually it will automatically execute everything with just simply right click and running this thing as an administrator once it is done your cpu is optimized don't forget to restart your pc and use your computer with the best performance i hope this video helps you out if it does make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button also we have introduced channel membership so if you're not a channel member yet consider getting the membership because all of the videos are uploaded first to the members and then to the public so you can always be first if you get the membership we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out